In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my new favorite ways to run the play PA slot cross out of the gun tight formation of Madden 23. If you wanna get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to join that is going to be down in the description of this video. And it's gonna get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now the way that I like to run this play PA slot cross, I actually have a couple of different variations. I'm gonna show you one of them in this video. I'm actually gonna show you two of them. One of them is actually a levels concept that is something that we haven't ran in Madden for years, but I actually think is really good this year. And the other concept is really more of a tra dis traditional type of flood concept out of this play that is super effective as well. So both concepts, super good. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it. PA slot cross and how I like to run it. So the first concept is really gonna be more of your traditional flood. What we know about this play is that this specific route right here is really, really effective. And on this right side, what you'll see here is the way that we can make this route a little bit better is we're gonna fade this tight end. And when you fade this tight end and you're gonna slant the left side receiver, what you're gonna notice is not only is this gonna be good against man, but it's also going to be really good against zone. What makes this route so good to MVS is it has this really sharp kind of cut that is gonna allow you to be able to beat man coverage really, really well. Now, concerning zone coverage, because we fade this tight end, he's gonna get outside of that receiver, and then you can basically throw that little corner route into the soft spot of the zone coverage over in that pocket. Now, what makes this play, I think, so good is the fact that a lot of people, what they're doing right now is we're getting a lot of this double flat, double Mabel coverage, specifically against compression sets. What you're gonna notice about this play is this route to Michael Irvin, if he starts at about the 20 yard line, if I freeform pass lead it up, it's gonna be about a 30 to 45 yard dot, depending on where I'm at on the field. So again, if they are running a ton of double Mabel, all we have to do is run this to the left side of the screen, um, and it's gonna be even better, uh, just in terms of giving that route more space, more room to be able to attack. Now, the other thing that you have in this play is this motion slant, which is one of the best routes in the game. You're going to see just free form inside. And as you can see, very consistently attacks man coverage just like that. So as you can see here, we have a lot of really good reads can really attack man and zone. Now, match coverage, what you'll see here is this fade route to Delaney Walker, the tight end can sometimes manipulate match coverage, and basically this corner is gonna be wide open to the sideline, as you can see. That's what makes this corner out so powerful, is that when you have this like little cross that's gonna occur between this fade and this corner route, it really does manipulate coverage really, really well. And you'll see right here again, like that time the match actually played properly, but I'm just telling you from experience, it doesn't always play it right. Um, it actually rarely plays it right, okay? Uh, and so you have this, this really, really, really good concept. Uh, another thing a lot of people are gonna do if they know that you're running uh, tight typically you're gonna you're not gonna get just straight match they're gonna do some adjustments to their match and when they start to adjust their match sometimes you can throw that corner out to the sideline if the corner routes not there you've got your slant you've got your drag underneath now the second variation of how I like to run this play is a little bit more I would just say versatile so we're actually gonna want to be on the left side of the screen for this and what we're gonna do is we are going to put our slot receiver here on a post. We're still gonna slant that backside receiver, but then what we're gonna do on the right side here is, and you can do it however you want to, you can either leave this route to Michael Irvin, or you could wheel your running back and flat Michael Irvin. Either one is gonna be fine. Uh, but what I like to do here, and you don't have to run play action or you can run play action, it's up to you. Um, but what we're gonna create is a really nice levels concept here on the left side. So I'm not super concerned about the right side of the screen in terms of it being able to attack zone coverage. Really the primary concept is this two man read over here on the left. Now the other thing that we know about this formation is if we have good a good ability to freeform or high point, um, this route to Delaney Walker can sometimes burn cover four coverage over the middle of the field. It can also burn cover two. That Sometimes it gets randomly bumped like that, but when it doesn't get bumped, 
a lot of times this route to Delaney Walker, what you'll see here is I can freeform up and to the right and give myself a shot, right? I can give myself a shot. Obviously, it's a shot play. Um, but this route to Delaney Walker is really kind of like a like a seam divide route almost where it really splits the seams well. Now, the reason this is helpful is because let's say that we're getting a lot of double Mabel cover too. And, you know, they're kind of leaving this guy in a vert hook because we're not really attacking the deep middle. Now, all of a sudden, you have something like this that really gets up into the middle of the defense and typically this is gonna be a pretty nice little cover two play that you can hit, you know, over in that sideline there. So you have you have that in case they're they're maybe doing like the double outside thirds thing that is very popular. This is also a great way uh, to be able to break match coverage. You'll see against match coverage, Delaney Walker will kind of bump into this guy, and then you can basically just freeform this up and over the top of the match coverage. Now, again, Delaney Walker is really more of a decoy route, and typically what's going to happen is they're going to use him in some way, shape, or form, or they're going to have to adjust their coverage to at least protect against that route. But the real benefit of this play is this deep uh, or is this post slant concept and really this levels concept. So what you're going to see here is this route to triangle. You can actually throw that, and what will happen oftentimes is that right side player uh, is gonna serve as a clear out. Now you can re-corner him if you want to. Um, I think there's some value to doing that. Or like I said, you could do something like this where you have the flat and you have the, the running back wheel. The reason for this is because now what happens is there's a lot of windows where you can throw this in front of the, in front of the KOs as you can see. So you're able to really put them in, a, in kind of a tough spot. So typically what's going to happen, if you think about it defensively, is they are going to use her, um, traditionally speaking, you probably have, you know, you might have this guy manned up, but typically they're going to have to come over here and use her either the running back or the post. And what it does is it opens up a significant amount of space in the middle of the field where we can then throw this backside slant. So you see they're kind of going over there. We're just going to pass it that down. And as you can see, it gets in front of the hook curl and in a really soft spot against that coverage. And then if they're double Maybelline or they're double flatting, right, obviously they have to have, you know, this this zone, this zone over here. So now, you know, you do something like uh, like this and they're going to have to use with that post because that post gets in such a soft spot against the defense. And so now they're kind of in no man's land because they've got to take that post and then you can throw that underneath and get some easy yards. It's one of my favorite plays right now. It's kind of a level style concept out of the uh, compression set. Really like this play a lot. If you want to run it, you can also do it like this. If you want to run it short side, you can fade, you can fade your tight end, you can corner route Irvin and then run it almost like this now and you're still in kind of basically the same thing. It's just that corner route's gonna to get to the sideline a little bit more quickly for you. So really, really a couple of different variations on one of the best plays in the game this year. I wanna thank you for watching the video. And if you wanna get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is gonna be down in the description below.